Hi and welcome back to Greenstone Ivy. Today I'm going to be making a memorial plaque for a customer. I don't film memorial plaques. I've never filmed a memorial plaque actually. It's just something I've never done but the customer's requested I film this one for a few reasons they want me to film it. I think so the family can see it being made. We're working on quite strict guidelines because it's for a natural burial ground. So we're only allowed a piece of slate, like I think six by four inches, which is not big at all when we're trying to try and get like 25 letters on there so each letter is going to be like 8 eight to 10 mil and then it's going to be painted white afterwards it's also got to go on the stone stake so I'm going to get the piece of slate and then I'm going to cut the piece of slate get it all ready we'll carve it out and then as that's drying it's going to take three separate coats of paint white paint as that's drying we'll go across and make the stake and then we'll try and piece them all together and we'll have a finished project to have a look at Right, let's get going.
So I'm all finished up. It's all done. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this piece of slate was getting mounted to a stone stake. So I've made the stone stake out of a nice piece of Derbyshire gritstone. Just put a little chamfer on it there, probably 5mm chamfer on it all the way around. Just don't want it getting damaged and the edge is rolling off. It looks nothing worse when your pieces of stones are all chipped. So that will just prevent that a little bit. Um, and I've also put an anchor pin from the slate into the stone just so it's mounted on so it's one less thing the customer has to do when they've got it on site. So when you'd normally have a stake you'd have a wooden stake and you, you just you just tap it in with a mallet but because this one's stone I've left a flat bottom on there because you're going to have to dig it in and put it in place it's not going to work like a traditional wooden stake. Another reason why I've pre-mounted the piece of slate on there like I say it's just one less job the customer's got to do when they're on site. Uh, we've used the Reclaim Welsh Slate Water Tank always the nicest slate to use once you've polished it up it turns out beautiful it's had three coats of paint and like I say it's all finished up it's now 20 past 7 I'm ready to go home I know my wife's made the lasagna my wife makes the best lasagna so I'm really looking forward to that so I'm going to get this wrapped up kept safe and then I'm going home I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time